to midday on this Wednesday. We're joined first by uh, Dr. Richard Lewis, dermatologist here in Kamloops. Thanks for being here, Dr. Lewis. Thanks for inviting me. Um, we have a lot to talk about because uh, this uh, dermatologist shortage that we're facing in BC has really reached crisis levels. Let me ask you, how bad is it? Well, it, it is pretty sad. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard a story just yesterday about a 91-year-old lady, veteran, who had to take a bus from Prince George to Vancouver, to Coquitlam, to be able to see a specialist there, a dermatologist there, because wow. she had extensive psoriasis. Her daughter lives in Coquitlam, so she went with her daughter, got the appointment done and so on, but had to travel, well, how many hours is that by bus yeah. for a 91-year-old person? That's not and easy that's for anyone, that's a shortage really. that we apparently have no control over. Yeah. There are people who retired, Dr. Uh, in Prince George, Dr. Mark Nelt, retired in December. In December. My so they're without a dermatologist now. That's right. So my territory now in Kamloops goes from the Yukon border to the U.S. border and from the Fraser Valley to Kelowna. And wow. the person in Kelowna is working full-time mm -hmm. where there should be three full-time people. Right. There's also a part-time person in Penticton working as much as he can, and that's it for the interior of BC. That and is, is in, in your opinion, is that unacceptable, Dr. Lewis? Well, from a patient point of view, it is unacceptable because there will be, I know, some serious, difficult, perhaps lethal skin problems that mm -hmm. could occur in people in the interior. Yeah where they won't have timely access to dermatologic care. And that's what the Canada Health Act says that all Canadians should have, access to health care in a timely fashion. And if we don't get more specialists coming or staying in our province, we're not providing that. Why do you think that the uh, government is I guess in some ways ignoring this issue or maybe just not addressing it immediately. Why do you think that is? You'd have to ask the government. Yeah. I have been racking my brain mm -hmm. to try and understand why there's dragging their heels. I have no idea why they are not doing something more about it. And the patients are suffering, not only patients from the interior, but even people in the Fraser Valley in Vancouver and Victoria, there's shortage everywhere. We need 20 plus dermatologists today, full time, to provide services for the province. Are there enough graduates coming out of school? Well, Is we're, that yeah, part of we've it? been graduating three people every year for the last two decades. Mm -hmm. Two out of three go elsewhere. And why? Well, because they can't make a living, living and working under the care of the provincial government and under the system of the BCMA uh, fee schedule. So, so if they're going elsewhere, yeah. we have to try and do something to attract them to the province, and that's not happening. Because BC is uh, known for ha being having the lowest pay grade, right? Compared to a lot of the other provinces, is that? that that's true. The, okay. the, we're the lowest paid province in Canada. So the patients who are suffering are the ones who I hope will now come to some uh, conclusion about what to do. And we need patients to go to their MLA and to their provincial leaders mm -hmm. to let them know how critical this problem is so that they can, I hope, start thinking about doing something about it. The patients are suffering. You yourself, Dr. Lewis, are, uh, right now, um, you, you've opted out of the uh, medical... I'm practicing outside, outside the plan, the that's plan. correct. So is that something maybe that people, that other, gra that recent graduates could e end up doing? Would that be an incentive maybe? I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to I, figure that out as well, you know? That's right, it's, it's an option that every physician has who practices in the province. A physician can mm -hmm. choose to practice with a plan or outside the mm -hmm. plan. And new graduates can choose to do that if they wish. Right, but they're... There's just nobody doing it right I, now. I must say that, uh, just uh, to correct though, there has been one extra position in dermatology, extra residency position been created just recently okay. for a student from Saudi Arabia who is going back to Saudi Arabia. So it's not gonna be helping our situation, but just so people know, yeah. yes, they did create that extra position. Okay.
Well, thanks, Dr. Lewis. Of course, I knew we would be out of time and couldn't get to everything. But uh, Dr. Lewis joining us, um, this is his address there down on Seymour Street and uh, phone number as well if you need to go see him. He's your guy and the only one in Kamloops. So there you go. Thanks for being here. We'll be right Thank back you. in two minutes. Stay with us. Thanks. And I swear I never seen the likes of you before. And I promise this ain't typical. Doesn't happen every night. My heart's racing trying to catch up to you. The light that you let.